house of God. Amen. Hey, heavenly holiness. Amen. We praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, hallelujah. We praise God. Praise God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Psalm 61 exhorts us. Hallelujah. That when we are overwhelmed, Hallelujah, we should ask Him to lead us to that rock that is higher than us. We can't handle it. We praise the Lord. You see, this is a problem and this, this is our weakness. We ask and we pray. And uh, we think we ought to help God. So we give God 50% and we say we're going to carry 50. Then when we realize nothing happened, we say, okay, let me give God 70 and I carry 30. Still nothing happening. So we say, okay, let me give God 98 and let me carry 2%. Nothing still will not happen because John 15 said, you have to abide in him. Amen. We praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And he in you, we pray. God doesn't need no help from you. When you pray, you leave it there and pray, believe in faith, believe in thank him because it's going to happen. If you pray by faith, it is going to happen. Probably not when you want it, but God is an untimely God. We see he was four days late, but praise God, he was able to say, Lazarus, come forth. We praise God. He's always late, but he's on time. God is an untimely God. Because his watch is not synchronized to our watch. We praise God. He's God all by himself. He knows the future. Amen. He writes the ending before the beginning. So he knows how the script is going to be played out. He knows it all. And we ought to trust God. We praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And when you, amen, hallelujah, have crisis, crisis should drive you to prayer. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you are driven to prayer, amen, be steadfast. Like this woman, like Jacob said, God, I'm going to wrestle. Yeah. I'm going to wrestle. Yeah. And I will not let you go, God. Yeah. Until you bless me. Yeah. We praise the Lord. Our weaknesses, amen, as we pray, we let go. But we ought to wrestle in prayer. We ought to be steadfast in prayer. Amen, like this woman. Amen, if she could wear down, amen, the carnal church. Imagine if you be consistent, amen, and persistent with God. Stay on your knee, amen, morning, evening, noon, and night, amen. Pray, God must answer. Amen. Amen. We praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We see, amen, that in Acts chapter 12, we are errored. Put Peter in prison. You know, and one thing I love about the devil, he acknowledges the power of God. We praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And uh, we remember when uh, Peter was put in prison. Now I would say he was put in maximum security. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, they put him in the inner prison. Yeah. We praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And uh, while he was, uh, amen, in prison, amen, uh, Peter believed in God so much, amen, the scripture didn't say it, but it, it's inferred. It, I think Peter took off all his clothes. We praise the Lord, and he laid them down, take off his shoes, and he went to sleep. Amen, praise God. And the Bible said, while Peter was there, amen, then the church got together, and the church began to pray. Amen for Peter. We praise the Lord, and we know when we pray, something happened. 
Amen. Praise God. And the scripture said that when the prayers reaches the ear of heaven, Amen. Praise God. Amen. In the middle of the night, uh, uh, somebody said, when uh, you're back against the wall, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And God heard the prayer. Amen. And when he heard the prayer, Praise God. Amen. Amen. The doors and the locks of the, of the prison. Amen. Begin uh, to fly. That's why we say Christ yes. can break everything. Be the same forever. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, praise God. That is why David said his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah, amen. We are in recession, but his praise is in my mouth. Amen, your house is in foreclosure, but there should still be a praise in your mouth. Amen, you have an eviction notice, but there should still be a praise. Amen, you were handed a pink slip, but there should still be a praise. In your mouth, whatever situation you find yourself in, amen. The children giving problem, there should still be a praise up in your mouth. Hallelujah, praise God. The husband giving you problem, praise in your mouth. The wife giving problem, praise in your mouth. You should praise him continually. Hallelujah, because God never fails. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We should have a spirit of revival always within us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And then, amen. In 1 Samuel chapter 4. You see, you have to release your praise. And then God will release his miracle. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, Israel had about 30,000 men. When the ark arrived, the men acknowledged the presence of God. You see, the devil study your worship. You don't know that. The devil know when you're faking it. We praise the Lord. He was there. He knows about worship. The devil know when you're faking it. We praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So 